Hi, how are you doing? Today we are going to talk about a GRE quant, GMAT quant prep problem, not GRE, GMAT quant prep problem. Uh, but before I get started, I'll mention that in my channel that you can do math. I have solved all kinds of math problems just for you. So do not hesitate anymore. You can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. Then you will get the free access to all kinds of math problems solved just for you, which you can review at your ease or you can download to review at a later date. So let's get started now. So the problem statement says the diagram shows two wheels that drive a conveyor belt. The large wheel has a diameter of 40 centimeter and the smaller wheel has a diameter of 32 centimeter. If each wheel must rotate the exact same number of centimeter per minute and the larger wheel makes R revolutions per minute, then in terms of R, how many revolutions does the smaller wheel make per hour? And then there are five options for the answer. In one revolution, the larger wheel covers 40 pi centimeter. Pi multiplied by diameter is the formula for the circumference, so it is 40 pi centimeter. The larger wheel makes R revolutions per minute. Therefore, the larger wheel covers 40 pi times R centimeter per minute. In one revolution, the smaller wheel covers pi times diameter, which is 32 pi centimeter. Let the smaller wheel make x revolutions per minute. Therefore, the smaller wheel covers 32 pi times x centimeter per minute. Since from the given problem statement, each wheel rotates exact number of centimeter per minute. Therefore, 40 pi r is equal to 32 pi x. And then we solve for the unknown x by dividing 40 pi r by 32 pi r. Or it is 40 divided by 32 times r. Now the common factor between 40 and 32 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40 and 8 times 4 is 32. So x is 5 over 4 r. Hence the small will makes 5 r divided by 4 revolutions per minute. So in 60 minutes, in one hour, it will the small wheel will make 5R divided by 4 times 60. Now 4 goes into 60 15 times, or 4 multiplied by 15 is 16. There is 60. So you cancel the 4 with itself is 1, and 60 divided by 4 is 15. So 5R times 15 is 75R. So the correct answer is option B, 75R. So 75R is the correct answer. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question or any comment, please do not hesitate to write back to you. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button because I'm coming back next time with another GMAT quant prep problem solved just for you. Take care. Have a nice day. See you.